Hello YouTubers, you're here with Chevron and tonight I'm going to be doing a bit of a gameplay tutorial on how to play salads, particularly my version of it. So I won't be sh showcasing any salads that aren't in this deck. I'm going to leave this here for a little bit so that you guys can have a quick scan over what I'm running. But I'll be doing a couple of uh, showings on how to chain block with certain key piece cards and how to like open up when you see certain cards so say if you open a CR Cryval with a Gazelle or a R Cryval with a ba um, well, not bay links with a Spinny and I'll just uh, show what you can do and what cards you're looking for to meet certain setups that you can do with this deck and another big thing too is chain blocking is very big for this deck uh, you can successfully set up big plays due to chain blocking opponents which will get you pretty far in your game in the long run and really helps you set up your turn one and moving on afterwards after you establish a strong board salads are very good at keeping that board state so due to being able to reset everything for free off the sunlight wolf and uh, the great rotation the deck has so yeah let's get to it so we'll start with chain blocking uh, chain blocking is a very strong ability that salads have easy access to it really helps them set up their board and just really makes plays just much easier to resolve against like your ashes and like a lot of hand traps and like monster negates so it stops cards that directly need to respond to the cards you're trying to resolve and act or activate and resolve but it doesn't stop cards say impermanence or effect value since they target to negate but apart from that you do you do skip around a lot of the effects that are in the meta at the moment and really help scum get around um, certain sticky situations you can get into like against crescendos or just back rows or apparent you know when you're in a mirror match and they're using uh they've got their rules set up yeah you can get around those um cards as well so yeah let's start with um one of your main uh chain block resource which is gazelle a uh, very amazing card, a big reason why it's limited to one, but with the amount of searches the deck has, you can usually get Gazelle to hand to start chain blocking, or if not, you do have other opens you have access to. So yeah, let's start with the um, Bailinx Gazelle and any solid card. So this is to chain block um, your opponent from Ash and your Bailinx. So getting Sanctuary to hand is really big. It does help make your plays a lot easier uh, and allows you to link your monsters into themselves without having to pay an extra cost for their um for their requirement so you go normal summon spinny uh link into a bay links and on because it, it gazelle's a triggered effect it will try you can activate it at the same time bay links would so you order the chain so you go bay links chain link one uh gazelle chain link two so when your opponent tries to monster negate or ash they can only respond to the bay links that way you get your sanctuary to hand and gazelle will summon if they try if the only negate option they have is ash and then Gazelle will have his own effect to dump a uh, Salman Great card from deck to grave. And they can ash that, but no biggie. you got your uh, Sanctuary to hand. But a good extender for this uh, for a play I'll show you later on that you can chain block the Gazelle on top of chain blocking the Bailinx, which is a pretty, uh, pretty strong ability you can do on this deck. Bailinx on the field already. And you've triggered say uh so, so spinny uh, and you've chain blocked and you've summoned the um gazelle and you've wanting to um you want to resolve the gazelle dumb uh because it's been normal special summon to a zone a link monster points to it will also ch chain ci driver which will again you'll get to order it uh same condition as how gazelle summons but this one's fulfilled uh because the monster's normal special summon to a zone a link monster points to you can special summon ci driver so you chain Chain has Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2. So if they monster negate this, again, you don't really care. Gazelle Dump is a lot um, more important than the CR Crabber. And CR Crabber just goes to Grave as normal, and you can use it again your next turn. So cha Resolve Chain, CR Crabber comes down, and then Gazelle gets his Dump. So that's a very good thing that you can do with CR Crabber. And another one you can do with CR Crabber is... Uh, say you have Sunlight Wolf on the field, and you really want to resolve his um, Add Effect. Uh, say bring you have um, Gazelle on hand, and you've gone as far as you have um, your Jack Jagger in Grave ready, and you want to be able to resolve his effect. So say I have this in Grave, and I go to return the special Jack Jaguar, hits the field, triggering Sunlight Wolf to say add your Gazelle back to hand. You'll trigger um, the CR Crab's effect again to special himself out. 
Uh, allowing you to add um, Gazelle back without having to worry about Sunlight Wolf from being negated. But again, you still can be in perms or um, effect failure, but for general common stuff, you don't have to worry about uh, back row negate that has to directly chain and monster effects that have to directly chain as well. So yeah, uh, that's the archive we've done. And another big thing that this deck has for its main opens is your Flame Buffalo. So Flame Buffalo is a very common open for some main greats right now. It's very good to be able to get the draw. Uh, so you say you um, link this away into your Bay Links. So in this case, um, a lot of the times I'd rather resolve the Buffalo because Buffalo will get me more card advantage in general. Or And say you want to discard, you really want to engrave as well, which would help you um, get more plus than the Sanctuary would. So here you would go Chain Link 1 Buffalo, Chain Link 2 Bailing, so if they have an Ash, they can't Ash Buffalo. And another big, big thing to remember, Buffalo's effect to discard the draw isn't a cost. The discard happens on resolution. So if it gets negated, you won't be able to discard, say, Spinny or CR Carver 2 Grave. Uh, so that's another big thing there if um, your Buffalo does get stopped. So Resolve Train, say Bailing's got Ash, but your Buffalo goes off. You discard, uh, discard the Spinny or whatever card you don't need at the time. has to be Cyburst Monster, though, and you draw your two on top of it. So you get to see two cards, and you already ha you, you've dumped a spinny or a card you won in the grave. So you get a pr um, pretty good head start there with the buffalo, and that's uh, that's it for my um, chain blocking. I may have missed some, and and again, I haven't shown chain blockings from cards I don't run in the deck. That's just out of what I do in my build. And yeah, let's get some to some opens. Uh, so to save time, I pulled out the cards out of the deck already that you would be normally searching or looking out for your opening hand just to save time uh, so I don't have to constantly dig through the deck and make this as fast as possible because you guys are watching this you'll obviously just be wanting to know how to do the combos instead of watching me dig through the deck constantly so with this uh, a two card combo uh, Foxy and Spinny are very good together when you do open it so I'll quickly show how this works out you keep Spinny in hand, null some of the Foxy link Foxy into Bay Links and Bay Links gets your Sanctuary add so this only works if um, Bailings doesn't get negated because you'll need Sanctuary on field for this to happen. Or if they do negate it, you, you may possibly have a Will or the Summon Great in hand already that will also help um, do this play. Uh, so use Foxy's effect to discard a Summon Great card uh, to special summon himself out for free. And then uh, use Spinny's effect from Grave because you control a Great card, you special summon Spinny. And you overlay them into uh, Mistelio and use Mistelio's effect to detach to mill say are you uh to special summon sorry say gazelle uh so this is just going off of bias um showing my two cards not showing what the rest of the cards in my hand look like uh you're, the way you make this play will change on what else is in your hand so i'm just going for a normal open right now i will use um gazelle to uh just ditch the raw for now i don't want to go so say i don't have raw or any type of extenders in hand I will need to dump the raw to try and make some sort of negate play. Hopefully I have like an ash or something to back up uh, for uh, my opponent's turn. So we'll use uh, these two to go into... Oh, sorry, not these two. These two here. So I will have to use our Mistelio to make this play uh, to go on the Sunlight Wolf. And then right now I will be using Gazelle to go on to Bay Links. So what that will do, uh, that will get um, Gazelle back to hand, so I can use it again on my opponent's turn on my own. And then I'll use Sanctuary to go Sunlight Wolf into Sunlight Wolf, uh, using his own effect to add Raw back to hand, that way I don't have to banish Raw um, when it uh, leaves the field. So that's a um, fair decent open you can do there. I'll quickly cut one back so I can show what would happen if you have an extender in hand, and how far you can take this combo. So we'll go back to this, say we have Spinny and Foxy, in hand, and we have Will of the Soulman Great. So, the way, wait, the way you do this, we'll go through the play again. So, I'll quickly fast forward this one. And we have Bay Links on field. We are, we're up to this point. So, we're back We're back to here. Uh, when you um, detach, you will go for... Oh, sorry. My bad. When you detach uh, and special the Gazelle, you can dump, you dump it, um, the raw again. And when your field looks like this, you'll use uh, these two to go into the Sunlight Wolf and just use Will to bring back the Gazelle. Uh, don't use um, Sunlight Wolf's effect yet. Uh, 
link our gazelle into Valynx, adding gazelle back to hand, and that way you can relink Sunlight Wolf into himself, getting raw back to your hand as well. So this is a way to make your open so you keep um, Masalio uh, on the field for your next turn if he survives, and it's just a better open than not having him on the field. So yeah, uh, that's the one of the um, basic opens you can do, and I'll quickly get to the next open. So this is another two card um, combo using uh, Spinny and CR Cryber. Uh, the way you'll start this one off, you will normal summon the Spinny going into Bailinx. Uh, that's not there yet. And ba Bailinx um, effect to add uh, Sanctuary back to hand. And now you can use Spinny's effect to special summon himself. Um, and make sure you special summon to the zone Bailinx points too, so you can trigger CR Cryber's effect to special summon um, himself as well. And then you can overlay here to Mistelio, uh, detach the special from deck. So again, with this is um, pretty similar to the other open with the two card combo. When you special gazelle and you dump the um, raw, if you have no extenders, you'd have to make the um, the first board I showed you. Or if you do have the extender, like something like the summoning um, will of the summoning grade, or just anything that you've been able to dump previously from like a cyanet 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 mining. Sorry. So it's usually when you um, open your uh, do an open, you have si sometimes you have a way to discard. Uh, so like a flame buffo or the sign up mining to get an extender in grave so you can make further plays But yeah, but if your hand isn't that good and you're looking like something like this again, just use uh Say we have the will just use the same play use these two to go on to wolf uh, Use um will of something great to get um gazelle back uh, Go on to bailings returning gazelle back to hand and again some wolf, some wolf and some wolf getting uh, the raw back to hand as well. So that's a similar open you can do by using CR Cryber and just Spinny on their own. Uh, so let's get to more of the advanced opens. So I'm going to do an extension play based off Flame Buffalo. So this is really depending on what your opening hand already looks like and how much further you can take this combo. Uh, and it really depends on what the two cards you draw for the Buffalo to um, to see how far you can actually go on this combo. Uh, so right now we'll go Flame Buffalo into your Bailinx and we'll say we have uh, Spinny already in hand. So right now we'll go Chainlink 1, Chainlink 2, Bailinx will add the uh, Sanctuary to hand. So the hand's over here and then Buffalo will uh, discard the Spinny to draw two. So say we draw a Nuts hand and we go like Mining and Foxy. Uh, the way we can do this one is we go Sign at Mining, discarding the Foxy. And right now we can go pretty nuts and open whatever we want. Uh, say we, yeah, go for the gazelle here, uh, because gazelle um, on resolution, very weird interaction. Gazelle will see, still see Foxy hit the grave, so uh, gazelle will be able to special summon himself out, and you'll be able to get an extra dump this way. So say we dump the raw here from the deck, so our grave looks kind of like this, and our field's looking kind of like this as well. Uh, so we special summon the spinny out uh, because you control some sunlight, uh, some great uh, monster on the field, and overlay into Mistelio, and we'll detach the special the Jack Jaguar from deck this time. So very, this is a very good extension play being uh, if you end up being able to special summon Jack Jaguar off the Mistelio and still um, open an insane board, and we'll use these two here to go into the Sunlight Wolf, and then uh, we'll go Sunlight. So we'll go Sunlight Wolf into Sunlight Wolf first. So that way, when you sh shuffle back um, off the Jack Jaguar effect, you'll sh shuffle back one of the wolves. Uh, that would help set up um, for um, the long-term play. And we'll use wolf's effect to add um, the raw back to hand. And we'll use the Jack Jaguar's effect to shuffle the wolf to special um, Jack to the zone um, Silent Wolf points to. And wolf's effect will trigger adding Gazelle to hand as well. So a pretty big board we can open here. And we'll link into Bailinx. And set the raw, and we have uh, Jack Jaguar for extension plays on other hand, um, turns as well. We still didn't use the Foxy, so Foxy is an option if there was, say, you're going second and you want needed to pop something. So yeah, uh, another good open for the deck. Uh, this is the pro probably the open you see most commonly uh, having this type of setup. Uh, the reason why you always want to open with two Link monsters. Is because if your um, opponent has a way to cheat out one of your link monsters, you still have the second one there to allow you to open um, to activate raw still. So yeah, uh, we'll go to the next one. So for this hand, I'm going to show you what Lady D Bell can do on her own and why she is limited to one. 
Uh, she is a one card starter for the Salman Great deck, but it really comes down to what the rest of your hand looks like to see how far and how big you can go with this combo. So you normal summon Lady Debug, adding Gazelle to hand, uh, link um, Debug into your Bay Links, and Bay Links will uh, add your Sanctuary to hand. <laughs> it's already on the field, my bad. Uh, so right now, um, like I said, it really depends on what your hand looks like, but say we'll go for these cards for now. Activate the Sanctuary, go Bay Links into the Bay Links, and then triggering Gazelle to special summon, and here you can mill uh, your Spinny, and then Spinny will special summon himself out because you control a summon great um, monster, and then you can go to your Mistelio here, and Mistelio to detach the Gazelle to special summon your Jack Jaguar from deck, and for here you uh, you can link these two off to go on your Sunlight Wolf, and then uh, use. Jack Jaguar to sh um, shuffle one of the Bay Links back to special summon himself, adding Gazelle back to hand, and then linking Jack Jaguar into the Bay Links. So just by w just off one card, you can make this board, which is insane. Uh, but if your hand is really weak and you don't have an in uh, interaction playing your opponent's turn, it is very easy to break. So, uh, and the crazy thing here right now is if you had your Rage and uh, or, or a raw already in hand, this is a pretty decent field. So you'll have one or the other set and you've opened that with um, Gazelle in hand. But a lot of the times you do have hand traps um, in your hand as well for your opponent's turn. So it's not always a bad thing, but yeah, that is why your debug is limited to one. That one card play can set up your entire field and just go nuts from there. So yeah, um... I'll actually show one more. I will go with a full power board and what it can look like with a hand on top of that. So for this open, I'm going to be showing a pretty crazy full on board you can open with the raw and uh, ash already in hand uh, with being able to put in a more inter interaction play onto the field. So this is kind of your maximum power board that Salaman Greats can open on turn one. So you'll go uh, silent mining discarding the spinny. Adding the Gazelle, so Gazelle's effect will trigger seeing the Spinny hit the grave, special sign himself out, and you'll be able to set, right now, we'll dump the Rage. Uh, and you're going to see why in a sec, because we're about to go really big. So we'll use Gazelle into the Bay Links, uh, you spin, uh, getting Bay Links to add the Sanctuary. Uh, Spinny will special sign himself out, uh, make sure it's the zone the Bay Links points to, triggering CR Kriver, special, links, special summoning himself out as well. Uh, we'll overlay into Mistelio here. Uh, discarding to special summon the uh, Jack Jaguar from deck and we'll use the Bay Links and Jack here to go into the Sunlight Wolf and we'll use the Sanctuary making Sunlight Wolf go into another Sunlight Wolf and using his effect to add Rage to hand so you, we're going to be having Raw and Rage for this opening play and use Jack Jaguar to shuffle Sunlight Wolf back to the extra deck to special summon himself out to the zone um, Wolf points to uh, adding Gazelle back to hand as well and now we just uh, link away Jack Jaguar to go on the Bay Links. So we have a hard board to break. They have to get rid of both um, Link monsters to make sure we can't activate our uh, uh, interaction play, which is not going to happen unless they main board something stupid or this is after side. And we have an Ash and Gazelle in hand, ready to make some plays on your opponent's turn. And a possibility of two cards being popped off um, the Rage and one the Gaia. You can go into your Heat Leo here. So I'll quickly get it out. For the Rage being able to pop three monsters. But if you don't have a um, like another extender to get on field to go onto another Bay Lynx. It's going to hurt if they kaiju you the Heat Leo because then you have no access or very minimum. You won't get the Raw, you can get the Rage, but you're going to need to use the Rage if you don't control Link Monster. So that is why I always prefer to sit on the Wolf and Bay Lynx. So yeah, uh, that is um, my, my input on this deck and a bit of a tutorial to mainly help new players or other like veteran players seeking out for ways they haven't used the deck yet so yeah um, i'm pretty sure veteran players already know all the ins and outs of this deck but this is just my input and i hope i help um some new players trying to pick up on this deck and yeah uh if you made it this far thanks for watching please leave, leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time see you